start off great. Yeah. Oh, that started off great. Man, the first five, I'm like, oh, man, this is great. Like, I, I'm actually liking this. And then the last one, I was like, all right. And I'm looking, I'm just in disbelief. Like, you, you're joking, right? Like, y'all got to be joking. I'm still Tim, all I could think of was the main writer died at the end of the fifth episode. <laughs> and a new writer just started. And they're like, well, we got to finish it since he died. I'm Here's the way the same guy wrote that script like that. I'm just dumbfounded at even the the hospital scene with the president. You know, how is this old white lady able to slip by everybody <laughs> in there? And I loved her character, but I was like, how yeah, she was great. Yeah, that, I was like, that British talking lady. Yeah, lady. yeah, she was great. Oh, oh, she's great. I could see her over and over again. Her character is great. Yeah. And she was like, oh, you didn't check behind the doors? Yeah, you must be a scrub. <laughs> yep. And that was the thing is that she came in the, in the in the hospital, just said, just got on the walkie-talkie and just told him, yep. Nick Fury is on his way. Yep. Trust me, move the president now. Well, we got this thing secured. We have all this. I'm like... If you got a million scrolls and you got all these scrolls there, you better have every scroll in the world that you know to secure that building. Nick Fury don't get in. Nobody gets in. So, to me, they screwed that up with the fight, the main climatic fight is with her and two super scrolls fighting each other. I would have told them as soon as they said they were doing that as the finale, I would have said no. Kev, you know what you need to no. do? I need you to make no. a uh, no. a YouTube or a Patreon. I need you to put two pictures up. You know what two pictures I want you to put up? What? I want you to put up a picture of the scrolls and I want you to put up a picture of the V. This ain't nothing but them lizards from that 1980s show, The V. Oh. <laughs> that's all this is, Kev, is just re V and reincarnated. The yeah, that's people. Well, the, the V is a little bit different, but yeah, it's pretty much. Now, I need you to make a video. This ain't nothing but a remake of The V. The lizards hiding amongst the people. Yeah, pretty much, except for it was different. You know, V was... You know, um, they was here to that steal. That was a great show, though. I love the V. Yeah, yeah. I grew up watching that. Mike Donovan was my favorite character. Yep. I was like, Mike Donovan! Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, I watched every TV show, movie he was in. Yep. He was a hero. Mike Donovan. Uh-huh. And then they brought the series back. I was like, V is over. Now it's back. Because after yep. they finished it, I was like, oh, man. Man, when they came, came when I first saw the V, and the first time they got hungry, they ate a rat. I said, oh, this is great. No, I was like, oh, they ate a rat. Yep. <laughs> what are they doing? Yep. But yeah, and man. Then, and, then they, and then who was it that came out with those glasses where you can really see them? Like, yeah, we got the glasses. You wear the glasses. You can see them. That's another move. <laughs> no. That, uh, that's the movie. Right, that's they, yeah, that's They Live with uh, Roddy Piper. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a good movie, too. They live. So what was I talking about? The one where they can put on a glass? That was with Roddy Roddy Piper, right? Mm -hmm. they what live. was that called again? They Live. They Live, okay. Yeah, that was a classic, too. Yeah. You put on them glasses and see them. I don't think, man, if somebody do that now, give me some glasses, I'll see them. I'll be, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't trust none of this. You be t yeah. taking out regular people. They'd be like, man, no, that's a new special effect. <laughs> I was just yeah. showing you. you. Look at him. You put it on. Some people there, you can. They looking like aliens. I mean, don't show me that. I yeah. took somebody out who's real. <laughs> oh man. Oh, hold on, hold on. My boss wants something. I'm gonna call you back. All right. Okay. Man, so there you have it, man. Man, what was Marvel thinking? Scrolls. How do you mess up the scroll invasion like this? 
And Sean's right about V. They're able to live amongst us, the aliens. But secret invasion? This one? Wasn't like that. We still had control of the country, the world. We weren't like in the sewers. We weren't, they didn't seize control of the planet. You know, and this is, I just can't believe it. It's like, you see something that isn't working, and you go ahead and do it anyway. Sh strong women characters don't mean they have to. You look at Terminator 2. You look at Linda Hamilton's character. She was strong because she needed to be strong. In that role, in that moment and what she was facing, she needed to be strong. You see, Marvel keeps making the same mistake a lot of these other writers make when they try to figure out how to make women characters relevant or stronger. They have no trials or tribulations to go through to get to where they are. They automatically just jump to, I'm powerful. If you look at Mulan, the cartoon, to the live action. What is missed there? Her journey of being a great soldier. She just automatically in the movie full of, she's just an expert at everything right away. Click. It's no real challenge to becoming that. So you don't really, if everything comes easy. Cal Devers, one thing, boom, now she's super powerful. Too powerful to have anything challenge her. Can't challenge a woman. Right? Guardians of the Galaxy. Gamora character we liked. Because even though she was skilled and powerful, strong, she wasn't a person that couldn't be beat. She had vulnerabilities. At times she needed help. And yes, it's okay to get help from a man. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you're sub subservient. And you get caught into this political crap of this is what people want to see. And they're showing you this is not what people want to see. Uh, uh, uh. We got him, y'all. We got him. This scroll invasion that's laid out before you right now was absolutely awful in the end. They had won back some respect from the Marvel viewers and let them down. They know Marvel's is going to bomb so bad it's not even going to be at IMAX. They know it. This is the first Marvel movie that is not going to be in IMAX. They pushed the Marvel's back. They pushed back everything. They know it's going to be a problem now. So, from here on out, 
moving forward, we're going to start to see an underlay of re well, they can't do reshoots now because of the strike, but this is bad. And this is going to hurt the business tremendously. The reason why is they're not connecting. They're so worried about agendas. Now you got another superpower woman who can't be beat. And you had two people who were super scrolls and they fight each other and they all of a sudden know how to use all the powers that they have when they want to use it. This person doesn't even know who Mantis is, but yet gets to use Mantis's power to put somebody to sleep and say, sleep. Whoever created this was a complete moron and needed to be fired. Whoever greenlit this to be the ending needs to be fired. I'm sorry. Everybody who stamped okay should be fired. Every single one. Makes no sense. I'm dumbfounded just sitting here talking about it. This dude get powers he's killed in, what, two minutes from getting his new powers? And he's supposed to be this super soldier, leader, general, who could take out all these other scrolls who tried to jump him. And all of them tried to gang up on him, and he took them all down. And wiped them all out with his superpowers. Right? But his he got extremists in his system and now extremists works. <laughs> so now he's got that in his system. So that's the case. Then you got this one girl who's just a daughter, who just loves her mom and dad. Goes in there and gets her butt handed to her at first. And when they first shot her, the first time I was like, all right, this thing, anybody could go. I like this granny guy. I thought she was going to be in the series a lot. Oh, sure. they was, Nope. She had extremists too. She went and gave it to herself. So now she knows how to use all these powers. Here's a question I have for people because it seemed like she had um, the Incredible Hulk's blood in her system. Or I don't know who, what alien that was. And that they're able to use alien DNA and able to modify the alien DNA as well. So from the battle on the field, from the Avengers battle, Okay, that's cool, but not everybody can use um, the Incredible Hawk's blood. The gamma reaction will sometimes kill other people, mutate them. They don't mean that they turn into something great. Now, as the whole world looks at this uh, and how they go through a progression, like the Incredible Hulk had to go through, you know, getting his powers for the first time, they just get it and just turn it on whenever they want. They can turn it invisible. That, I'm just, I don't even want to talk about that no more. <laughs> that was so bad. And it wasted so much great dialogue that was in the first four or five episodes, man. To have that ended. To have Nick Fury falling in love with some alien. Like, 
Oh my God, it was awful. Completely just terrible. Um, and the president, I mean, everything, if they cut out Nick, Nick Fury and this love scene with this alien, I want you to love me in my own skin and just be like, uh, uh, baby, you look like an alien <laughs> with, with sharp teeth. What am I going to do with that? <clears throat> uh-uh. So she's going on there. They in love together. Bestiality to me. But <laughs> they cut that out. They cut out that ending. Reshoot that and keep in the par with the president and, and everything else. Keep the hospital scene if you got to keep it. And mix that up with a final battle. Redo the final battle. And keep the president and his whole speech and going to war with the scrolls and all that. So where the scroll war continued. That is fine. Now, on our watch, this is happening with Marvel. They're losing their grip. You see DC kind of losing their grip with all these changes. When the people are telling you what they want to see and you're refusing to give it to them, I don't understand it. So, with that being said, man, we're going to get out of here. I'll let you later. Deuces.